Civil Engineering Academy. Hey there, engineers. Welcome to Civil Engineering Academy, where we're looking at a problem from dynamics, uh, more specifically from kinetics. And the problem reads like this. An elevator in a 20-story apartment building has a mass of 2,000 kilograms. Its max velocity is 3 meters per second, and its extra max acceleration is 2 meters per second squared. A passenger weighing 70 kilograms stands on a scale in the elevator as it ascends to its max acceleration. What does the scale read at the max acceleration? Key to solving this uh, problem is remembering Newton's second law, which is that force equals mass times acceleration. Now I've drawn a free body diagram of the elevator and the two forces that are acting on um, this passenger. This is my passenger. Not the best drawing in the world, but should uh, illustrate what we're talking about here. So free body diagram. So we've got two forces acting on this passenger. Since the, uh, the elevator is ascending, it's going in this direction. Um, the two forces that are acting on, on this individual is the normal force, which is the mass of the passenger times the acceleration, the normal force, which essentially is just G, the acceleration of gravity. Um, the force, the extra force that the elevator is exerting on the passenger is the mass of the passenger times the acceleration of the elevator. I'll call that AE. Um, these are the two relationships that we need to, uh, to solve this problem. Since both of these, these are... Uh, incidentally, these are uh, vector quantities as, as is uh, acceleration. Uh, mass is a scalar quantity. But since both of these, these vectors from our free body diagram are in, going in the same direction, we're essentially adding these two forces uh, to come up with the reading on the scale. Or, in other words, what the force is, um, the total force. So we're going to call that force total is going to equal our normal force plus our force from the elevator, or the acceleration of the elevator. Okay, so let's bang this out. Fn is going to equal 70 kilograms times acceleration of gravity, which is 9.81 meters per second squared. Oop, squared. And Fe is going to equal mass of the passenger times acceleration, the max acceleration of the elevator as it's ascending. And we punch those into our calculator. And we're going to get Fn equal to 686.7 newtons. And Fe is going to be about 140 newtons. Keeping in mind, just so we're consistent with our units, a newton equals a kilogram meter per second squared. <clears throat> okay, we add those two quantities up because, again, we're adding those, those two vector quantities. We're going to get 826.7. Oop, that's an N. Bad writing. 826.7 newtons as we add both of those together, which is closest to answer C. Hopefully that helps you out, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.